Hi there, Andrew with Zang Physical Therapy here. And today I want to talk about one of my um, soapbox issue pet peeves is uh, sports, spe sports specialization um, in youth. And it's just something that doesn't create a better athlete and quite frankly leads to higher rates of injuries uh, and repetitive strain injuries to be quite specific. And this isn't me just saying it, it's backed by lots of data and a ton of really um, smart researchers and doctors who are seeing a much higher percentage of um, significant injuries in youth sports, in particular baseball. Um, you know, the renowned uh, shoulder doc, James Andrews down in Birmingham, um, said somewhere along the lines of like a 300% increase or something ridiculous in terms of the number of uh, shoulder and elbow procedures he's done on individuals under the age of 16. There is no reason for this to happen. All right. 30 years ago, 15, 14, 13 year olds weren't having surgery on their shoulder. And why is that? Because they weren't playing one sport year round. Playing one sport year round leads to nothing um, but a higher risk for injury based on their overall rate of exposure. So this means greater time spent doing activity means greater chance of injury in that sport or specific activity. And doing one sport doesn't make you a better athlete. It may help you in one sport, but you overdevelop a certain muscle group that you're using over and over and over again, and you're not rounding out your full body profile. Okay, you think that practicing one sport year round is going to get you to college, get you a scholarship. Think again. The majority of Division One college athletes all lettered in multiple varsity sports. Let that sink in for a minute. Multiple sports. Okay, so you think your kid is special and going to make it in just that one sport? You have a much better chance of them being injured than actually receiving a scholarship. You want them to thrive and become a well-rounded athlete, you encourage them to participate in multiple sports. Okay? And do this from a young age. Don't pigeonhole them into one activity. And I've heard from parents who say, but my kid loves this sport and wants to do it all the time. Yes, that's because kids want to please their parents and their coaches who put unnecessary pressure on them to do their sport or risk not being allowed to participate in that sport. I've even heard it in my nephew's uh, soccer team and he's 12 that if you don't show the commitment to the team that you might not be on the team that's a load of crap and coaches should not be allowed to coach if you're spewing that to young kids which you are molding and trying to mentor and teach the right way to play games all right so you know we need to take a good look at how we're treating our kids you know there, there's no reason for us to be pushing them into sports get them into various activities let them explore let them find what they like okay if they specialize at the end of high school okay that that may be okay but if they play three or four sports as youth and they've kind of narrowed down there chances are they've developed their body in such a way that they can tolerate those sports but if from the age of eight they're playing just one sport not if when? When are they going to break down? You, you uh, need more evidence of this? Just look at the injury rates in some of the um, major sports like pro baseball. You know, how many of those old baseball guys were going down with shoulder injuries? And they pitched every three days. Now pitchers are pitching every five days and getting injured at astronomical rates. You don't think that has something to do with the volume of pitching that they do as a youth? If you don't think so, you're crazy. Back in the day, those old guys, Walter Johnson, um, you know, even Sandy Koufax, they did other activities as a kid. They didn't play baseball year-round. They did other things in life that they just had to do. Okay, it's great that kids don't have to do all those um, things to help support family businesses that they used to do back in the early 1900s and mid-1900s. You know, that's wonderful, but it doesn't progress our athletics one little bit. Okay, so it's a really important issue. Um, whether you agree with me or not, I don't really care. Um, the data says a sports specialization is bad, and it is something that we need to um, take good hard look at ourselves, not live vicarious through 
our children, and it's something that I'm going to be thinking about when my daughter grows up, that I don't want to be a parent who's pushing her into any one sport. I'm going to let her explore what she wants to explore. Right now, unfortunately, it's gymnastics and dance. Um, I hope that's not what she does long term, but if it is, then I guess I'll just have to, to live with that. But she's going to have the opportunity to explore whatever sport she wants, and I'm going to go from there. So if you have kids who are young, you know, let them play soccer, let them play baseball, basketball, field hockey, tennis, whatever it is. Just let them get out there, let them be kids, let them learn the values that sports can provide for them because there are a lot of good lessons that can be learned if the parents and coaches get out of the way and stop being pushy in the wrong way. So um, sorry for the rant, but it's a very important topic to me and especially since um, school sports are kicking up into full gear now. I think it's something important for everybody to think about moving forward, If you're, especially if you're a parent of a young child. So this has been Andrew Zang, Physical Therapy.